today. In other news this morning, a former Conservative MP has insisted he is completely innocent of allegations he was involved in multiple murders and child sex abuse. Harvey Proctor took the unusual step of calling a news conference to refute the claim, saying he is the victim of a homosexual witch hunt. As Sky's Tom Parmenter now reports. Caught in the glare of rumour and suspicion, Harvey Proctor has had enough. I am a homosexual. I'm not a murderer. I'm not a paedophile or pedras. 24 hours after another police interview, the former Tory MP revealed the case against him. They amount to just about the worst allegations anyone can make against another person, including, as they do, multiple murder of children, their torture, grievous bodily harm, rape and sexual child abuse. It's 28 years since he left Parliament after pleading guilty to gross indecency with young men. As the age of consent has since been lowered, it would no longer be an offence. He insists what he did in his private life was always consensual. I appeal to any witness who truthfully can place me at any of the former homes of Edward Heath or Leon Britton at any time to come forward now. I appeal to any witness who can truthfully say I committed any of these horrible crimes to come forward now. He was named by a man known only as Nick, who says he was one of many children abused around Westminster in the 70s and 80s, including at parties at nearby Dolphin Square. It's perfectly reasonable for someone to defend themselves, and Harvey Proctor has done that, but he's gone much further. He's cast aspersions on all the allegations against everybody in public life. Well, how does he know what's true and what isn't true? Harvey Proctor said this has destroyed his life and that the police have got it disastrously wrong. He also called for the detective leading Operation Midland to step down and for the commissioner to apologise. Scotland Yard watched what he had to say but haven't yet offered comments on Mr Proctor's statement. Their investigation is as complex as it is disturbing. Mr Proctor acknowledged that the police should investigate serious allegations. But he said, with him, they were talking to the wrong man. Confronting it all head-on was his only option. Tom Parmenter, Sky News, Central London. Independent, uh, amongst other papers, going with this story on Harvey Proctor. It's got a picture there from the news conference, um, which, or press conference, we should say, it was pretty dramatic stuff in that he decided to come out all guns blazing. He did. He? he came out fighting. He was very dramatic. He said he was a victim of a homosexual witch hunt. Uh, he went into great detail about the allegations made against him. He said he was fed up of the drip, drip of information from the police. And to me, if I... I, I'm not casting aspersions on his guilt or otherwise, but if I was falsely accused of something, I would want to make a big noise about it. And it has taken, it's taken guts for him. He has, in the past, um, been, been found guilty of, of uh, having sex with, at the time, underage um, male prostitutes. So this, he is used and it, to that ended kind of, his political career? It ended his political yeah. career, um, but he's putting himself in the firing line again by going public and, and, and stopping the innuendo about this. It's thing. interesting, because you, you were reflecting that the... PR advice in these circumstances actually is just to lie low, not comment, and just wait for you know the police to actually charge you or or otherwise. Yes, he's decided to be proactive in that. He's broken phrase. every rule in the book by not only coming out and making a big song and dance about it and getting himself on the front page of a whole load of newspapers, but also listing in some quite shocking detail precisely what he's been accused of. You know, rape, torture, murder mm. of you know underage boys. Uh, and he's done it with such gusto, you've got to respect him, because he puts up a very powerful argument, which is, you know, I am an innocent man, the police are throwing the baby out of the bathwater of all this, uh, and they're, they're hanging out isn't people yeah. to dry. Well, he's actually gone even further. We all seem to he's... say we don't know the truth as yet. No, but he's challenging but the police as well, which is interesting. I, th I think to accuse the police of a gay witch hunt is probably going a bit too far. I think not even London's finest, who put so many of my colleagues through completely needless trials, uh, would be uh, capable of that. But 
his point is a fair one, which is the police, when they are accused of things, not doing the right things mm -hmm. in the past, such as letting you know, sex crimes or VIPs committing sex crimes, uh, you know, hide under stones, they throw the baby out of the bathwater, the pendulum swings far too far the other way. But, but the argument is that in. if they make it public, it may encourage others to come forward and they gain more evidence. And the downside is you Rolf Harris you being that example. Yes, yes. The, the idea being that if you name people who are in the frame, that more people will come forward. That is in many ways how you build a case. That's where all this, the, the controversy over the police sharing with the BBC the fact that they were going to raid um, mm. Cliff mm. Richard's house. That's where it came from. But they, it is, you're treading on, on dangerous ground. I think you have to be very sure that you're going to be able to charge someone one before you reveal their name. But the downside is you ruin reputations forever, especially yeah. dead people who aren't there to fight back. People like, you know, Ted Heath, uh, Lord McAlpine, who had that famous you know, Twitter incident, who wasn't a paedophile at all, mm. but were accused by other rival broadcasters of, of, of being so. Uh, and uh, there's no comeback from that. Yeah. Harvey Proctor will be associated with this forever, as will Cliff Richard. Certainly Cliff Richard is innocent, and, you know, for all we know, Harvey Proctor is And again, is, is, is trying to take the police to task her. I've been